Victoria. So you come from Moldova and you were also part of this beautiful project on feminism in the Eastern post-Soviet countries. Can you tell me a bit more about what exactly is that that you do in Moldova? Yeah, so my name is Victoria Popa. I'm a lieutenant in the reserve and I'm also an affiliated expert of uh, security study of IDC NATO in Moldova. And also I'm a university lecturer and PhD candidate. Uh, we made this project uh, in order to show, uh, to break up this, break out the stereotypes regarding the women, women professions also. Our specific project is uh, on non-female professions, uh, which is non uh, It means that there is no professions for men and for women. There are just professions and women are able to perform it at the highest quality. So we've chosen from Moldova the participants that were in uh, missions in in uh, uh, Central Africa in peacekeeper missions of uh, uh, UN. We also choose uh, officers uh, of police and uh, a deputy in the parliament. And uh, why we choose these women? Because they are leader in uh, the area they are performing. And um, because if we take into the consideration the resolution 30, 1325 of United Nations, uh, it speaks about uh, the, the, um, the possibility of women to think uh, otherwise than the men are thinking and uh, to make the um, peacekeeping missions uh, more efficient and uh, also they are speaking about the violence in women in post-conflict conflict area so uh, uh, this uh, project aim to show um, that uh, women uh, can not only have a job in the public institutions or political affairs or international affairs, but also can have the living position and make a change and make this world a better one. But this is also one of the big problems because we have women which are having positions, but they are like, for uh, in order to get the leading position, they spend much more time than men. And then if they get to the leading position, they are paid less than a man. So this is a problem to be addressed. And uh, we believe that this project will break the stereotypes on these issues and will help people to evaluate and to understand better uh, that um, empowering women is a good thing actually and um, also if we are speaking about uh, uh, army for example because now we have free uh, like it's army on contract so uh, we are inviting also not only men to participate into the army like a uh, cadet but also uh, women and we encourage them because they can, uh, like, and we show our leader, Elena Milchenko. Uh, she had been a cadet in the same uh, academy, Alexander Chalbun, that I was, and uh, she became a leader. So there is such a possibility, there should be a willing and broken stereotypes on this issue.